It's so good. I am gonna be kind of cheating today. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie. We're doing another episode of my cooking series, which is literally just me trying to cook the most basic meals because I don't know how to cook. This is episode two and I'm already struggling because I don't know what to cook, but I actually texted my boyfriend and he gave me the idea of making a homemade crunch wrap supreme, which I've actually never had a crunch wrap supreme, but it's basically like just like a big taco or like a big burrito with like that crunchy part and then like you know, you know how it looks. This is how it looks. You guys all know what a crunch wrap supreme is. I think I'm going to make that tonight, but I need to run to Publix to get ingredients because I have ground turkey. I do want to get some like veggies for the inside. It's currently 1.30 and I haven't had a single thing to eat all day. I'm in the mood for like a protein shake, so I think I'm going to make one. I made one the other day and it tasted pretty good, so I think I'm just going to make it similar to that. I'm going to add some frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, Maybe frozen blueberries, some protein powder, and then milk. I just finished making my protein smoothie and it is a little thicker than I was hoping so I'm using a thick straw for it if you don't like it this thick you can just add some more milk to it it's not a big deal this is the protein powder I use this is not sponsored but I do have a code with them if you guys do want to try this protein powder or anything from clean simple eats you can use my code Sophie for I believe it's 10% off I'll have everything in the description below so you guys could take a look but I'm gonna sip on my protein smoothie and write a list of everything that I need to get from the grocery store. By the time I finish this, we can just head out and get what I need. All right guys, so it's 7.08 right now. It's time for some dinner. I am gonna be kind of cheating today because I made ground turkey yesterday and I don't want the leftovers to go to waste. So I think I'm just gonna reheat that one. Another reason why I'm using it is because I forgot to take out my other ground turkey from the freezer to defrost. So we have no choice but to use the ground turkey from yesterday. And I usually put this taco seasoning in it. I get 25% less sodium. Don't know if it makes a really big difference, but this is just the one I typically get. Or the Siete one, which that one's also really good. Also, I'm drinking one of these hydrate packs from Clean Simple Eats. This is the one I'm using. I think it's strawberry watermelon. So good. I don't use the whole packet all at once just because the cup is pretty small. It is so good. I'm usually a water only kind of girl, but I really do need to hydrate because I have not been drinking enough water. Even though I have a Stanley cup, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I haven't been drinking enough water. So I'm starting to drink those and they're so good. The strawberry watermelon one I think is one of my favorites. And if you guys are interested in trying this specific one, I do have a code with them. Again, this video is not sponsored. I just do have a code with them. I'll leave it all down below because I don't... I think the code is just Sophie for 10% off. If not, just make sure you guys look down below and check it out. Anyways, let's get started with dinner because your girl is hungry. We're going to clean and cut these bell peppers. This is the cutest bell pepper I've ever seen. I think four is enough because I'm only making for me. I just cut them into little pieces because I'm going to be mixing them with the ground turkey. So I got my ground turkey. I'm going to just heat it up on top of the stove. Kind of just like cooking it, but I'm going to keep the temperature very low. And we're going to try to make these crunch wrap supremes. I'm honestly getting a little bit of a headache, so I'm not in the mood to cook. I feel like every time I do cook, I'm just not in the mood. We're going to power through and we're going to do this because I made a promise to myself. And honestly, besides me filming this, this past week, I've actually been holding up to like what I've said and like I'm going to cook more at home. And that's exactly what I've been doing. All right, so I have like these big burrito tortillas, which I'm going to use for like the outside part, like the main big part. But it does have a little bit of a crunch inside, which is 
Crunchwrap Supreme, which is a little, what's it called? A tortilla inside, but it's crunchy. So I got these corn tortillas and we're gonna be putting them in the air fryer to make it crunchy for the crunch wrap, you know? Honestly, this video might be a fail, but it might not be. So let's see. Don't ask why I have literally Teddy's food on the counter and a lip balm. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, I'm just gonna take one tortilla. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, I need to plug it in. So I'm gonna stick this on air fry and just watch it. I just really want it to get crunchy. That's pretty much it. So let's just do air fry and then we eyeball it. I'm gonna put just a little bit of ghee so it doesn't get like stuck to the pan. But like, that's good. You can also use oil. I just have ghee right in front of me, so. Guys, I was not paying attention to this. So it is a little crispy. Ow, that was hot. But that's fine, that's totally fine. Also, I didn't realize we're also gonna need another tortilla because apparently you need a burrito size, a crunchy one, and then a, like another one. So I have these. Um, so I have these hard balance ones that I think I'm gonna cut to like smaller, like a smaller circle, just so it's like the same size as this whole one. I'm gonna be attempting to cut this like in a circle so I can have it the same size as this little one. Let's see how this goes. <gasps> I think I did it. <gasps> it came out perfect. I think it's time to assemble this burrito or crunch wrap supreme. Big burrito. This one's like the keto one. I'll put a picture right here of what it is, which one it is. It's so good. It's my favorite like tortilla. Got this cheese from Publix. It's just salsa con queso. Oh God. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the middle. Not too much. I'm not gonna put too much, but obviously you guys can put as much as you want, if you're even making this. <laughs> we add the crunchy tortilla. Jeez. Now we just add the final little piece. Just gonna crunch it down, I don't know. If Guys, I didn't film me folding it, but I folded it up and now I have it on the pan heating. I did have some trouble folding it up, so if it comes out a mess, it's okay. It's still gonna taste good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. <gasps> oh my god! Guys, that looks like a real crumb trap supreme. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god. All right guys, we're going to taste test it and I'm so excited. It looks so delicious. All right, this is how it looks on the inside. It's so good. The one thing I will say is that it's not as crunchy as I hoped it would be. I guess it lost the crunch with like the sour cream and stuff. But other than that, this is delicious. It's kind of good because you guys can literally make it however you would like. If you want to add tomatoes, onions, you could add it. It's so easy. And here's another easy recipe. I promise they will get harder. I'm just like slowly getting into it, guys, okay? I'm gonna give this like a 7.5 because it is really good, but it's missing the crunch. I guess the crunch got lost. I'm not sure. But also, the meat is a bit dry just because it is leftover meat. So I could have done it better if it was fresh meat, but... This is still so good and you guys should definitely try it. All right, guys, it is the next day. Last night, my camera ended up dying literally after the last clip you just saw. And then I wasn't really in the mood for anything sweet last night. So I didn't have dessert, 
but it is the next day and we're gonna make dessert i'm like so cold in here hold on it's so cold in my apartment but anyways i'm ready to make dessert i have all the ingredients i need here for the pcos friendly brownies so that is exactly what i'm gonna make the ingredients you need you need some almond flour baking soda some kind of sweetener i chose truvia olive oil vanilla extract chocolate chips and also two eggs which is pretty much all i have left great i need to go buy eggs now first we need a cup of almond flour three fourth cups of sweetener that seems like a lot but half cup of cocoa powder but you can't eat this this is not dog friendly two eggs a splash of vanilla I did a little more than a splash. One fourth cup of olive oil. Splash of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then lastly, chocolate chips. Now we mix. It seems very dry, but I think I just gotta continue to mix. All right, this is how the consistency looks for me. So I'm just gonna put this in a baking sheet and put it in the oven. This is what I'm gonna put my brownies in. I'm just gonna put some parchment paper so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom, but you could spray it if you want, but I don't have a spray right now. So I'm just gonna add some parchment paper, just like that, nothing crazy. Also, I'm a little nervous because the consistency is not very, but they are supposed to be healthier for you, so that's probably why. Also, a thing about me is that I don't use my oven. I'm actually going to put them in my air fryer, but my air fryer is like this big oven kind of thing, so that's why I always put it in there, and it cooks just like my oven. My oven has a ton of pots and pans in it right now, so I don't feel like taking those out, so I'm just going to stick this in my air fryer, but I could... I have an option to bake it, so... It should come out normal. This is how they look so far. I'm going to add some white salt flakes on top. This is completely optional, but it looks pretty good. This is hard to do with one hand. Now you bake it at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to stick it in for 20 and then if anything, come back, see how it is. And then I can always put more time. All right, so so far these smell so good i just cut them they are a little warm but i mean they smell and look pretty good i'm not gonna lie okay i'm literally so excited to try this because i love something sweet this is how it looks on the inside i don't know if you guys could tell but it looks pretty out promising but it's really hot i'm gonna wait like two seconds before i dig in all right so i got my brownie and my little glass of oat milk i just need to have like a cookie or a brownie with milk it's just how it happens to happen so let's see the brownie it's a little crummy but this is how it looks i have to be careful because teddy's sitting right under me and he cannot eat this i'm a dipper i always dip brownies cookies everything in milk so i'm gonna dip it sorry if that's weird Okay, but honestly, they're not bad. They're obviously not gonna be the best brownies I've ever had because they are like supposed to be like healthier for you, but it's definitely not bad. All right guys, so that is it for this week's cooking series. Let me know how you guys liked it. If you guys try making the Crunchwrap Supreme or these brownies, let me know down below. These brownies were really good. Oh, I never rated them. I'm gonna rate them a 6.8. Eight because they are a little dry but they're not bad if you guys want to try the recipes i made in this video i'm gonna put down below the recipes i honestly just follow some videos from tiktok so i'll link them down below so you guys could watch them and make them if you guys are interested but thank you guys so much for watching this week's video i'm gonna be thinking of what i want to make for my cooking series next week if you guys have any suggestions of any desserts you guys would want me to try and make or any dinners you guys would want me to try and make let me know. If not, I'll just look on Pinterest and TikTok. That's what I usually do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.